All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with the next episode of the Vanguard Mass Effect series. You know, today we're going to be in the Citadel, um, reporting to the Council about Saren and Eden Prime. So let's get down to it and see how everything works out. Excuse me, I had a big lunch, so that's why I'm kind of yawning. Leftover Christmas food, that's what it is. And because it's so heavy, it wants to knock me out. I'm like a snake, I eat a big meal and then I have to sleep just to digest it. <laughs> Yep, we're all good with my talents. Just wanted to make sure on that. Hey, Commander. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> yep, we'll take all that. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Hey, soldiers died. The number comes up, it's over. His did. That's, That's what happens when he tries to be Leroy Jenkins. Not after Torfin. That must have been hell. Every time you kill, it gets a little easier. It sure does. I'm glad you're on our side. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Dead Marines, dead colonists, and in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. Yeah, that is true. We didn't. A lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, sir. Yeah, damn it. You're a Marine. Act like it. Drop a set and be a Marine. That's what you need to do, Ashley. <laughs> Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Look at that massive station. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Yeah, good thing. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy now. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. is an outrage. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. They totally would. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. 
You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Bitch. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Exactly, I do too. Alright, so in here there's a computer you can hack. As long as you have just decryption. That's why you always uh, put the first point for Caden into decryption. That way then you can hack into the computers and stuff here in the Citadel. But this is a mission we get to do later. I just get it now so I don't have to worry about getting it later. Alright, these these guys here, these big animal looking guys are um, the Elcor. And I don't know why, but I just totally wish you could jump on one's back and ride it like a Yoshi. <laughs> All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Yeah, who is the Asari Consort? You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shaira. the Consort. Sounds like, sounds like a stripper name. I cannot speak more. Shaira. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Okay. Now. Uh, excuse me. We are going to head to the Citadel Tower, looks like. But first, we got to take a little tour. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> we'll try. Here we go to the Citadel Tower, finally. Later on, we get to unlock more areas to go to, so you gotta walk to them to unlock them, so... That's how they make you explore.
Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Shit. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakari. And this is my rectum. In charge of the investigation into Saren. Sounds like you came up empty. Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe, you never know. You don't have to listen to this, but I I did just for just for the video's sake. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Polis? No. The Hanar are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Though the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first. You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. <laughs> Hearing's already started. Come on. I don't know why they gave Commander Shepard a little line on his hair, but for some reason they did. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. Damn right I am. The beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Yeah, just think if that was evidence. how it worked in the real world. Reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Justice wasn't served. They denied. <laughs> it was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. Well, let's see. Question our You're the one that wanted him there, idiot. He's working with the Geth for one reason. <laughs> to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. Yeah, we do. Inspector, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Some way. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. He's a Turian. I don't want him on our side. Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. 
His name is Harkin. Harkin. Yeah. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. How would you know that? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. In yeah, the lots of people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes that's necessary. People must die so a million can live. Exactly. But only if there's no other way. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. That's what criminals do. If you need anything else. That's what criminals do, man. <laughs> All right. Now we get to go play frickin' Scooby-Doo here, chasing leads. That guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the keeper. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Why? Is it illegal? <laughs> I'm here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them. But the authorities really, he's got a point. Scanning them doesn't not really, worth getting a really bother him. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. All right, so now we're going to scan some keepers. And good luck with the scanning. We'll make money and experience for doing it, too. But I end up skipping it. I might make a video showing where they all are, so I'll just have to see. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. I love the elevator music. <laughs> Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Who knows? But we scanned it. Look, there's a little mini, um, mass relay. Okay, well, there's Bar Levon. What's this? 
one of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Yeah, I'm right. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Yeah, I don't either. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're Short, sweet, to the point. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker, and I do know something about Saren. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation, so I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Yeah, what a shock that is. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the C-Sec Academy. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. All right. But here we go. We're probably gonna um check out some things. Oh, the shopper. Shopping. We're gonna this do some shopping. Pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Okay, so every single time, there's three options here. Every single time you want to go to a different option, you have to leave and come back. It's so stupid. If I would have made everything all junk, I would have been able just to click um, sell all junk, but I didn't do that, so I have to sell them one by one. But sometimes that's a good thing, so I can check to see what's good and what's bad, so... The chameleon tool, that thing is worthless. Yep, get rid of all that crap. Do I get rid of the improved sighting? I don't think so. Alright. So what can I buy? Looks like nothing. The licenses, you'll need those for the um, quartermaster on the ship. That Phoenix 4 would have been good for Caden. Okay, we couldn't buy anything because we just don't have money. But we're going to come up here to scan a keeper. And now... I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times? 
What? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. Yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Yep, there's a keeper. And now we're right at um, the consort's place. You're welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many... You can see her tits! Underneath her shirt! Wow. She'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Yeah, speak with us. Okay. Shaking that ass, shaking that ass. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I don't either. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus. A retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. Get into a drinking contest with him so you can see how much more you can drink. I would be very grateful. <laughs> now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Okay, now we're going to come over here. I believe we're... Um, I know what we're doing. We're going to um, hack a computer here in the executor's office. This is another hi hidden um, This is another hidden uh, mission you can do. Ashley got stuck. <laughs> Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be talked at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> She's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did, too. Shut up, Fredericks. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. 
Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we embarrassed the shit out of him. We embarrassed the shit out of him. So out here, there's another keeper. And then we go in here for another keeper. I know there's a keeper in here, and there's some experience, too. You know, you um, examine those for experience. And now, we'll scan another keeper and go down to the wards. Via the wards access. Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know the <laughs> doctor's death on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Yeah, so she has no excuse for not banging her, not banging her man at night. <laughs> so anyway, um, what goes on there with um, Caden? Is um stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. So, okay, what goes on with Caden when she asked, Oh, what about the headaches? He's an L2 biotic. Which is, um, he had implants put into his mind to become a biotic. And the L2 implants ended up being defective. In light of the recent attack on so, crime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. So, proposals are really until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. So because Caden is an L2 biotic and he has those L2 implants that are defective, he gets headaches really bad. Since the time of his implants, they have come out with, I think, the L3s, or maybe the L4s. Scenic view. And we want that, too, for the free experience. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist. You can see Emily Wong's tits under her shirt. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. How can they keep tabs on all of this? Presidia may as well be on another planet. That may as well. There's definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big. 
But this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. Handouts. I doubt it's personal. It's gotta be a balancing act, like every other government. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. Yeah, but are you worth it? Enough, Chief. That would be inappropriate fraternization, Chief. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Ready to move out, sir. So where are we going here? Looks like we're going down to Cora's Den. Is that where we're going? Cora's Den? This banner gets pretty funny right here. But this here. I don't sell this bottle. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now, are you going to give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, then. I can't help you. But, what would you... Can't help you. There's a keeper here. Not a creeper from Minecraft, but a keeper. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Yes. What you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. We're just after the license. That's all we're after. But what do we got here? Wasn't an upgrade, really. Okay. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. They fucked up with Conrad in this version. Conrad had blonde hair in the original, but in this version, they darkened his hair but left his beard blonde. Conrad Verner. It's actually kind of funny. Killed more than a hundred on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Yeah, that's true. Busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Again, just looking for the license. Oh, and the Metagel upgrades. Nice. So now I can carry more Metagel. Sweet. Okay, now we're going to Quarter's Den, I believe. That's him. We throw him on the ground. Boom. Got him in the head. Really? I'd be surprised if it was the council's men. Yeah. Commander. 
What do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! The lies have been told <laughs> for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Yeah, so two. A kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Always. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him, look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand. Okay, so now we're heading to Flux, it looks like. Yep. Because I totally forgot to go to Flux first. You're supposed to go there first. Before going to Koristan, but... I screwed up, but that's okay. Yeah. I heard uh, Gordon Ramsay uh, had a morgue underneath Hell's Kitchen in case he needed to kill some. In case he needed to kill some of the chefs that drove him nuts. She left too. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. Get to the point. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. You can't stop her from making stupid mistakes. Yeah, that's true. You can't. Mistake might cost her her life. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No, but it's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. 
Ah, there we go. Now we come up here. There's a suspicious uh, machine up here that you want to scan. There's a keeper, too. I don't really play Quasar, because really there's no point. You make more money by uh, selling equipment that you find during the missions, so... So now where are we going? I think back to Chorus Den, aren't we? Yep, that's where we're going. Oops. Oh, we went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. Yeah, very charming. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What was that about? <laughs> I guess we'd better go find out. Yeah, we might want to. So now we're gonna go to CSEC, it looks like. For a keeper? Scan the public extranet terminal? into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I get why the Hanar doesn't want anyone to bother the ruins, but come on, man. Progress has to happen. We're going to come down here. There's a keeper over here. Then we're going to come over here, and I believe we're going to talk to Rex. Nope, we're going to go to the docking bay first. With a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Okay, so that genetic sterilization of the Krogans, it was called the genophage. What had happened was uh, the Krogan breed like crazy. They breed like rabbits. They multiply like rabbits. And so the Salarians are like, holy shit, we gotta, we gotta get control of the population. So they created a sort of a virus... Hey, we leveled up from that. So they created some sort of like virus or something that um, makes it so where when they breed, they can't the females can't get pregnant, and the females that do get pregnant, the babies um, like one in a thousand only survive. So we unlocked electronics. And we want shield boost for you, I believe. That we're, yeah, I thought that's what we were going for. And we put one in pistols for you, that's right. In 
In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. So pretty much the Extranet here on the Citadel works like the old AOL, when you used to have to go to um, the websites and type in the keywords. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yeah, you notice? <laughs> I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. Time we paid Fist a visit. Damn right. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. We don't need him. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. All right, so we're going to bring in Rex just so we can um, set him up. He gets all the talent points up to level six, so we max his um, class. And he is a biotic. I've never known um, Krogan could be biotic surges brutes but he's a biotic for some reason <laughs> okay okay we're gonna go up here we're gonna talk to a couple people up here okay Julie. let me get this straight your business partner Shorman, he's threatened you yep well no uh, not exactly this asshole I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? 
Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Yeah, damn it. Leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. If I find out he's lied to me... Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck! Good luck! <laughs> okay, we're gonna run up here. Though I don't know why we got all the keepers. Oh, to scan all those. That's right. To get the experience. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chellick. Yeah, damn it. I've blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always playing the angles, detective? It's part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods. Jax Teller! That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this? He didn't die on his motorcycle. He Markets. ended up teleporting to the Citadel. Fire. <laughs> Good luck, Commander. Okay, now we're going to the med clinic, it looks like. Pick up Garrus. I swear. That was smart, Doug. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or open. Who are you? Let her go. Ow! Right in the head. Gave him a third eye. <laughs> Here it comes. Boom! We blew up one of them. There, we poisoned him with the fire extinguisher. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot, yeah. man. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Okay, we're gonna bring out Garrus just so I can get him ready to go too. Max out his class. Get overkill for assault rifles. Get tactical armor. Decryption. Okay. Now we're going back to Corazon. Oh no, we're going down here to talk to 
Torben and Jax. That's right. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Oh, the merchandise. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'm taking you in, Jax. To sting. Bastard set us up. The hell are you playing at? Here's your money, Jax. <laughs> Sense of humor, huh? It's gonna get you killed. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. Shorbin. What are you referring to? My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You spoke with Jaleed? <laughs> then you know about the data? Just tell me everything you know. No. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? That's what all this fuss is about? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. <laughs> our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? If it'll help further the scientific cause. How can I refuse? And my bank account? How can I refuse? <laughs> Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Okay, so where are we going now? Oh, back to CSEC. We're going to turn in those two quests. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. See, we leveled up. That's why I do those quests. Okay, it looks like we're gonna do shotguns. Is that what I'm gonna do? Or am I gonna do assault training? Oh, one each. That's what I did. One each. Okay. Um. Damping. And advanced sabotage. That's what I did. Okay. And. Yep, I did fitness for you. Okay. So, here's something interesting about decryption. It, um, raises your sh shields, I believe. Not only does it grant the overload ability or talent, but, um, it raises your shields. And there was a second thing. 
it repairs more of your vehicle later on in the game. It repairs your vehicle more. That's right. When you need to repair. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. All right. I don't know why that one's Paragon, but it is. But okay, we're going to follow the relay network for the funnel credits. And here's the next relay here in the ward access. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. So the next one is in the financial district. Which I'm surprised I don't cut this out, but... So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than c -Sec? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats C-Sec. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Ha <laughs> Yeah, here we go. It's in Barlevon's office. You scan this thing. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. And it's actually closer than you think. It is right here. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection, 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, Given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence my alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively if you attempt to leave or attack me i assure you that the explosion will kill you i'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period you may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates i will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed all right this is kind of hard to do i can't remember the sequence You see me screw up a bunch of times. There we got it. And we leveled up. We're going to do shotguns, it looks like. Yep. And we're going to do damping, I think, too. Which shuts down enemy biotic and tech attacks. Fitness just raises your um, HP. And combat armor... Um, that increases damage reduction and increases hardening of your shields. Okay, we're turning in Zeltans. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. 
I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologize. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. All right, so now we're gonna go talk to Shaira, turn in her two quests. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the Consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling, though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you were just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. Okay. I don't know why some of that banner, I listened to some of that banner, but I, I did it for the video. Just let you all listen to it. Commander. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. Words? Of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Oh shit! Shepard's getting some! With a blue chick! He's getting blue pussy! <laughs> Probably singing I'm blue, da boo dee da boo da <laughs> <laughs> what are they on the Titanic? In the car? Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I've never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Okay, here we are at Flux. Yeah, 
what is it? Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. Yeah. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Okay, so all we're doing is going to play some Quasar and talk to um, Rita, I think. More rumors about strange metal creatures with real AI, no doubt. Yes, but there's more. Yeah, there always is. I heard they had some connection with the rogue Spectre. Not this again. Why is that so hard to believe? Whatever you say, just don't expect us to believe it, too. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. They should be. Aren't you? I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Well, take it off and jump on a table. You'd get a good tip then, wouldn't you? Just the tip. <laughs> All right, we need five wins here. So you want to try to get to 21. There we go. Or 20. That's what we want, 20. I busted. I was being greedy on that one. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. Oh man, that one's kind of hard. Oh, I busted on that one too, damn it. Oh, we'll take that one. Take that one, too. It may seem like it, but you know nothing, and I know nothing. There, we recorded the wins.
So we got a 20 credit profit out of that. <laughs> So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm going to get the system completed. There we go. Now we're going to head off to Horus Den to deal with fucking Fist. I'm on it! One in the head. There's a war. Programs regenerate, so you really, when they fall, you really want to shoot them while they're down. That poison, uh, that poison, uh, thug there. I think we're good, Shepard. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Exactly. Well, uh, uh screw fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. We'll take the weapons locker, because there's free stuff in it. Okay, you need an assault rifle. And the phasic rounds, those are interesting. They do less damage, but they ignore the shields. So, really it makes up for doing less damage. I surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Okay. Get the um, data disk. You'll need that. All right, now we deal with the talent points. We got Carnage. Assault training does give you more weapon damage too. It's not just melee, it does give you weapon damage too. Um, we did assault rifles so we could get shotguns open. Okay, yep. Run, run, run. I 
I'm a pretty decent shot with his handgun, aren't I? Well, you say that, but we're going to be running into some here in a minute. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh, she threw a grenade! That's what she did to protect herself. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. Yeah, I damn it. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. He wasn't? Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. 
Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, so we're gonna bring out Tally, and we're gonna bring out Ashley, and you'll see why in a minute for Ashley. But for Tally, we want to get her prepped for um, her character. We need to do um, Ashley. Here's the thing about the other characters. If you use them, and you're leveling up, you don't use them for a while, and you bring them out, they will have all the points that you yourself have gained. So, they'll never fall behind. You just got to set their talents up, though. So, okay, we upgraded... Um, Ashley's armor to heavy. There's three types of armor. Light, medium, and heavy. Um, Vanguards can use... Can upgrade to medium. Um, soldiers up, start at medium and upgrade to heavy. And so on and so forth with the other characters. Okay. So, I want to read... Um, what... Okay, electronics. That increases your shield capacity by... Increases your shield capacity and restores 400 extra hull to the vehicle. And the decryption increases tech mine explosion damage done by sabotage. Damping an EMP by 10%. Oh, so you use sabotage on that stuff, not um, overload. Oh, I see. I did. I was doing that wrong. I was using overload. I think I was looking at, um, yeah, I was looking at equipment here to see. Yeah, I got Phoenix 2, which doesn't even have any upgrade, but since it's heavy, we'll take it. So, okay. We have another little quest here. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay. Now we're going into the expensive bar to talk to Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nirali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nirali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. 
The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Batya, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Uh, even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? I totally would. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batya. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Damn right, that's how you deal with that bullshit. <laughs> Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Damn right, man. And another level we got. There's Marksman. We'll unlock damping and get advanced overload. Oh, it does a hundred damage. Okay, I didn't know that. And cuts down the shields by four hundred. Uh, I didn't know that. Okay, we're going to the tower, it looks like. Yep. We're going to the tower! So we can report to the council. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Trouble! Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. 
CERN is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. That is a good point right there. That is a good point right there. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right. Okay, I think this is going to be the end right here. Um, yep, it looks like it. It's the end of the video, so... Hope you all had fun in this episode. I mean, sorry it's all just stuff here in the Citadel, but... That's just the way it works, so... You know, that this here would be up, that was the end of episode two, so... I hope to see y'all in the next video, and hope y'all are enjoying the series. So I'll just see y'all in episode three.